we got it all in there. Now, let's get to this creature right here. I've been fighting this for two or three weeks, on and off. I just couldn't get it to run more than 10 or 15 seconds. So this morning, I Googled, I went on YouTube, no, I Googled. Generac 4000 runs great for 10 or 15 seconds, shuts down. Well, don't you know some guy in Virginia Beach put a video up there several years ago. He said, it's your oil sending light, your oil pressure gauge. Right there, low oil indicator. He said, if you follow that down, unplug that plug right there, it'll run like a razor was. So we turn on, <coughs> we turn the gas on, we hit the button. It runs better than it did when it was new. <laughs> One simple little damn thing. Now I probably have to get a new oil sensor, but I'm not going to do that till after the hurricane, if there is a hurricane for us. But it sure looks rough for Florida now. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The Mumbles man has just got to the land of Nala. Low Tide Tim is talking about going. I got, I can't go. I got them two knives to pick up now. I just got a call. I got to pick up some butcher knives from my guy. So I'm out of the uh, the land of Nada today. I'll get back to you. I got about 10 minutes to go to pick up the knives. It's supposed to be 90% chance of rain today. We just knew we were going to get drowned loading that dumpster thing. But as you can see, it's a bright sunny day. No 90% of anything but heat. <laughs> I'll see you. 2.53 here at the Exxon station. 2.53. Well, I got them. One's a Hank Slicer. The other one is a Cutco Chef's Knife. Cutco's amazed me how so pretty they always stay. I've never picked up an ugly Cutco knife. Now, I ain't crazy about the steel that Cutco's are made out of. It's kind of soft. It gets dull fast. But it sharpens fast, too. But they're always so shiny right through there. Beautiful knives. Okay. We're headed for Rancho Max. Traffic jam. Oh, the rain's arrived. We're getting ready to go out to dinner with Low Tide Tim. And Rick from Pennsylvania. We're meeting him at a restaurant at the beach called the Ice House. I haven't been there in at least 30 years. It's a cool spot, though. We'll see how it goes. Well, you know, you, you guys found a lot while you were here. You might as well just send them four plane tickets. <laughs> we have um, spirit. Um, we're real close to the pro. But, I mean, well, they could go to Place. And when we walked in, there weren't that many people. Feed the critters. Jack and the Indian. And the, and the, and the carnivores. Mandu. You talking Mandu? Not you, I'm talking to Mandu. Hey, Mr. Mandu. That's nothing to eat. That's a camera, you dummy. <laughs> what are you looking at? You're a camera guy, ain't you? It's a 
to it. Crow. Crow for us. Meow. No wing crow. Meow. He's learning how to meow finally. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Indian. Hi, Gloria. Cut, go. I'm sure. <laughs> Two militaries. Some cleavers. Oh, I'm sure. They'll all be gone. As long as long That's as you coming by tonight for these. <laughs> Tomorrow okay. for these. Indian. Hey, you eating your dinner? Good Indian. <laughs>